Let's take a look at race number 10, Saturday at Aqueduct. It's the Grade 2 Wood Memorial. It's a mile and an eight. With a purse, $750,000. This is a Kentucky Derby prep race. 100 points going to the winner. Have a nice field of 13. Let's take a look at them. With the one horse at 6 to 1, it's Resilience. Resilience broke his man in two races back. And Gulfstream winning by four and a quarter. Next time out in a grade two resin star sticks, finish fourth. Not bad behind Sierra Leone, Track Phantom, and Catching Freedom. John Velasquez returns. Phil Mott's putting blinkers on him. He's got a couple of nice workouts coming into this race. You're getting six to one on the one horse resilience. It's interesting at six to one. Take a look at the two. Mr. In the Money, it's El Grande O out of 11 races. He's been in the money 10 times. A couple races back, finished second in the grade three withers. Lost by a nose. Last time out in the Gotham, Gotham finished third in that race. He's been showing increasing speed figures. Should be forward in this one. He's got 30 derby points coming into this race. Getting 8-1 to one on a two-horse El Grande. Oh, he absolutely loves this racetrack. I will use him on my tickets at 8-1. to one. Here's a long shot at 50-1. to one. It's the three-horse Lonesome Boy. Lonesome Boy has uh, put together a few decent wins of the last time. One by six and three quarters. Posted a nice speed figure in that race. He is stepping up in class. He's never raced in a graded stakes race. And well, 12 of the last 13 winners of this race previously ran in a graded stakes race. But he's showing increasing speed figures. You're getting 50 to one on the three horse. Lonesome boy. At a perfect two for two, it's the four horse deterministic. It's getting seven to five on deterministic. Broke his maiden at Saratoga by half a length, and then he was off for a while. And in his three year old debut, he won the Gotham by two. I think he's the horse to beat. I think he's the best horse in this field. But deterministic has 50 derby points. I think that's enough to get him in the Kentucky Derby so he doesn't have to run his best in this race. You're only getting 7-5 to five on the four horse, but I will use him on my tickets. Take a look at the five. Another long shot. At 30-1, to one, it's protective train by Todd Pletcher. He's 0-2. It's made in debut. Saratoga. Finished a nice second behind three quarters of a length. And he was off for a while. And in his 3 0 debut at Tampa, he finished third, but he was DQ'd in place fourth. That was out of a five horse field. Should be a little bit sharper, his second off layoff. He's going to have to pick up those speed figures, though. And getting 30 to 1 on the five horse protective. Todd Pletcher's trainer, well, he's won this race seven times. Another horse who should be forward, and is also a long shot at 20 to 1, it's Evening News. Look at his last few races, though. He broke his maiden three races ago, and went about three and three quarters. Next time out in the allowance race, finished second. And last time out, look what he did last time out. He went by eight and a quarter. All three races, he had Lasix. You're getting 20 to 1 on the six horse. Evening News. Seven horse, also at 20 to 1, is Merritt. He should be pretty close to the pace in this one. Look what he did in his maiden debut as a two year old. One by 10. Next time out, finished third behind by five and a half. Then at the mile and eight distance, finished second behind by five. Uh, his speed figures are heading in the wrong direction. And getting 20 to 1 on the seven horse, Merritt. Now he's exiting the race 
out of Florida. 11 of the last 13 winners of this race have exited a race at Gulfstream or Tampa. Let's take a look at the 8 horse. At 15 to 1, Elysian Meadows, trained by Bill Mott on his debut at Aqueduct. Six and a half furlongs. Next time out, another sprint. Won the Lama's race. And then he stretched him out at Tampa. And Sam F. Davis finished fourth, behind by six and a half. I do not like those speed figures. But you're getting 15 to 1 on eight horse, Elysian Meadows. There's another horse that's perfect. Perfect two for two. It's Tuscan Sky at 4-1, to one, trained by Todd Pletcher. Broke his maiden at this racetrack with no problem at all. Went in by five and a quarter. And he sent him to the fairgrounds and he stretched him out. No problem in that race. One by two. Posted back-to-back -back nice speed figures. Now in that last race, though, the fairgrounds. He only competed against two other horses. Those are two nice wins. Both of those wins came with Lasix. What will he do without Lasix? You're getting four to one on a nine horse Tuscan Sky. I will use Tuscan Sky on my tickets. It's not a long shot for you. 30 to one. It's the 10 horse Gettysburg Address. His only win has come against Maidens. Finished third last time out. Changing trainers. Going to Dallas Stewart. Can't get too excited over those speed figures. Getting 30 to 1 on the 10 horse. Get his Berg address. Take a look at the 11 horse. Also at 30 to 1. It's Society Man. Society man broke his maiden last time out at this racetrack, winning by three. Gave him a little Lasix in that one, and he seemed to like Lasix. You're getting 30 to 1 on 11 horse, Society man. There's another long shot at 50 to 1. That position. If you like long shots, this is the race for you. That position only win? Well, it's come against maidens at parts. But he won by four and a quarter. Last time out in the grade three Gotham, he finished six in that race at 82 to one. For that, the Weathers finished fourth. 71 to one. You're getting 50 to one on 12 horse. Deposition. And to close out this field, it's number 13, Uncle Heavy. Take a look at Uncle Heavy's record. On his maiden debut at Parks. Next time out, he just completely missed the break in that race. Had no chance. Then he followed it up with a win at Parks. And he sent him to Aqueduct for the Grade 3 Withers. But it posted a nice speed figure. Won that race by a nose. He is the only horse in this field with a win at the distance of a mile and an eighth. Now, he did miss some time. He's coming off a more than two-month layoff. Uh, he had to quarantine for a while. He's getting eight to one on the 13 horse. Uncle Heavy. I don't like that post position for him. But last year's Wood Memorial, the horse that came in second was Hit Show. And he only lost by a nose. And Hit Show had post position number 13. I'm going to use Uncle Heavy at 8 to 1 on my tickets. So these are the horses that I'm using. I'm using Uncle Heavy, Deterministic, El Grande O, and Tuscan Sky. And if I go five deep, 
I can find a spot for resilience. Also, I'm going to pick to win. Let's see if he can overcome this post position at 13. I'm going with Uncle Heavy at 8 to 1. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. Good luck.